Hey guys, welcome back to this lecture JMX Exporter. In this lecture, we will use JMX Exporter to monitor our Java processes that are running in my server and I will see what all metrics I am getting for my Java process. So, in this lecture, we will use the JMX Exporter as a Java agent file which we will attach with our existing Java process and then we will see how and what results we get. So, let us quickly jump onto the demo now. So, the very first thing I need is the Java agent file that is been provided by the official Prometheus GitHub organization. We will download that first. So let me quickly download it here. So you'll be able to find this path and the commands in the resources attached with this lecture. So don't worry about it. So let me just quickly download it. I'm downloading this in temp directory. Okay, so here I can see my jar file is downloaded here this is jmx prometheus java agent so this is specialized jar which is created for jmx and prometheus purpose okay so now the next thing we need is this particular jar file expects a configuration file okay so this configuration file informs this particular java agent to expose the set of metrics okay so basically you can customize the metrics you want to see or you want to expose for your java metrics using the configuration file by default in this template we are not customizing anything we'll use the default configuration file which means we will expose each and every metric so that we can see what all metrics we are getting so let us uh, create in config.yml file here okay and let us um, create the file with this particular content okay so i'll save it so I'm not uh, creating any filters for the metrics here. I'm taking all the metrics into the consideration. Okay, now we have the config file. We have the jar file. Now it's time we attach our existing Java process with this jar file so that this also runs along with my process. So let me first uh, show you what what is the Java process I'm running right now. So let's grab Java here. So this is the java process that is currently running in my server okay you can see the class path is user say tomcat bin bootstrap.jar so basically this is the tomcat server i am running in my server okay now it's time i want to monitor my tomcat okay so or i will say i will want to monitor this particular process so how many threads it is taking what is the cpu and memory usage or the other resources uses for this process i want to monitor that so let us quickly uh, see how we can do it so the very first thing i need is so how can i run this particular jar file along with this process that i need to check okay so for that what we will do let us quickly see what is the service file for this particular process okay so it is loading this particular user bin system dd tomcat service let us quickly uh, jump into this service file okay and now here we can see the environment file so from the environment file it is taking those uh, parameters okay or the or we can see the additional commands that will be running along with your process so let us quickly go to that environment file now okay so in this environment file we need to specify that particular agent in the catalina options okay catalina underscore ops so basically it will be like this catalina okay it should be in capital catalina underscore ops and then i need to specify my jar file and the configuration file which i want to run with this okay so this is with this is the entry i will create here great so i'm saying this is my java agent file okay and this is available in temp directory and the port that will be exposed is 8088 where the metrics will be exposed and this is the config file which it it will refer okay now i will save it okay we have saved it now now it's time we restart our tomcat server and see whether that particular uh, java agent file is coming in this particular process okay so let us quickly restart the tomcat let's see whether it came up 
okay it is active and running fine now let us see the process it so i can see java and here at the very first my entry that i have made in the catalina ops is visible here java agent the path of the jar file which i want to attach with my java process for prometheus matrix the port number is 8088 and the config file which it is referring and the rest is same as it was earlier okay now so my java agent jar is attached to my process now if it's time we validate whether we are getting the java matrix or not so how we can get get it in the server we can see it via local host and port number okay and i can also append this particular substring okay that's really great i can see a lot of jvm related matrices available here okay so you can see catalina thread pool jmx scrap duration config jvm thread current thread daemon thread peak thread started thread deadlocked so you are getting all the J jvm related metrics for that particular tomcat process okay which is running in our server now it's time we expose or we set up our prometheus server to scrape these metrics okay so let us quickly go into the prometheus directory where we have the prometheus yaml file and create a new target in this file so i will now create a new job here we'll give it the name as job jmx exporter and static config it will be because i my port number and uh, endpoint will be static okay and here i will give the same entry as it is here i will only change the port number okay it was 8088 okay now it's time we save this file and we restart this prometheus container okay now let us check whether prometheus is up okay prometheus is up here now let us quickly uh, go to the prometheus console okay now here in the targets i will see whether i get the i'm getting the new job as well okay so i can see the jmx exporter here it is showing my endpoint as healthy and it's running fine now it's time i visualize the metrics that i'm getting for the jmx okay so let us start with jmx search for this string okay i can see all the metrics which involves the jmx characters okay so you can see uh the jvm memory bytes max memory pool bytes jvm config let me check the threads okay so we have its state threads current let us execute it let's see what we are getting okay let me go to the graph here you can see it so currently 28 threads are running for that jvm process okay so now suppose at a moment your java process becomes unresponsive because of the threads logged okay or increased in threads your process gets unresponsive so you can monitor the threads here and you can prepare the root cause of your issue so this is how we uh, use the jmx exporter and this is how we can monitor our java processes there are other ways as well which we will uh, see in the upcoming lectures so i'll wrap this lecture here i'll see you in the next lecture thank you